So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0131 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0131? Well, it's an O2 sensor circuit low voltage bank one sensor one. And what are some possible causes? Well, it could be bad oxygen sensor, could be in the harness, could be in the wiring, and some other causes too, which is a little less so, but it could be fuel pressure, uh, contamination in the fuel, faulty fuel injector, gas leak, or an engine vacuum leak. Mainly it's gonna revolve around this oxygen sensor, which is the most common problem. These other things can cause it too, but most of the time it's gonna be this oxygen sensor on bank one. And bank one is always the, the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you just have a four cylinder, then you're not gonna to have to worry about it. If you had a V6 or V8, then you would look for the number one cylinder and it'd be that side that was having the problem. And what does this oxygen sensor look like? It's just a small device that screws in right after the exhaust comes out of the engine, sometimes on the manifold, sometimes on the, on the exhaust pipe itself. And there'll be two oxygen sensors. There'll be an upstream and a downstream. The upstream is before the catalytic converter and the downstream is after the catalytic converter. So this one will be the upstream O2 sensor. And it, it's usually, on most Hondas, it's usually kind of simple to get to. It's, it's like located right on the, on, the on the exhaust manifold or down a little bit. You have to look or you have to Google your vehicle to find out the exact location of this, but they're, they're usually fairly easy to spot. And let me jump over on Amazon, give you an idea how much they cost. They're not too expensive. There's one for $17. It, again, it'll depend on your year and your engine type, but it looks like you get one for less than 50 bucks. And there is a way you could test the sensor so you could test it before you replace it. But keep in mind the wiring too, because wiring can cause the same problem as a bad sensor. So be sure to go through that wiring and be sure there's no bad harness or no opens or shorts or anything like that. Some people would automatically go ahead and replace the sensor, but you could test it before you do that. Either way, it'll definitely have to be checked out. And so if that doesn't work, then you will have to go down this list of other things, such as high fuel pressure, fuel contamination, faulty injectors, exhaust leaks, engine vacuum leaks. But by far the most common thing is this oxygen sensor which simply needs to be replaced or the wiring has a problem with it. So that's basically it. I just wanted to give a brief overview of what you could do if you had a Honda with the P0131 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.